How often do you jump around and not either fully do what you're currently doing or really engage in the moment and allow yourself to be here? Well, so many of us do this constantly. And so in this video, I wanna talk about how I've been cultivating presence. And while it's not perfect, it's something that can definitely help. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Let's dive into it. Presence is likely one of the hardest things, but also something that is completely a choice. And so here is where we are going to connect those two elements and allow them to proliferate in the mind. Often presence is simply awareness. And this is seen in meditation, this is seen in business, this is seen in so many different areas where the more present someone is, the more they are aware of everything that is going on around them. For instance, a mother who is present after having her child wakes up at the first sound of them moving around or crying or smiling or whatever it is. And I know smiles don't really make sounds, but anything that really would alert their attention, they are attentive, awake, present in this moment, awaiting what will happen next. And so that is an ideology that we often forgo, which is to be aware of the moment now of you watching this video at this current point in time, the way my vocal inflections work, the way the tonality of the voice is, is something that will allow you to be grounded and cemented into what Eckhart Tolle refers to as the now. And so lately for myself, I've been trying to de-plug every few days and go to a park with no phone, with maybe a journal and a pen and no music or any stimulatory things that could pull my attention away from the here and now. See, even music and guided meditations and just about all these things that we do take us out of where we are at the current point in time. And that's why we love them because they are addictive. And I'm not saying there is not magic in those things. There isn't utility in having a phone, but to understand how to cultivate presence, bring yourself back to this reality and simply cement yourself into the now is something that takes work. And it takes work by non-doing, by not doing anything. It's very counterintuitive, but what you'll notice is either taking a notebook to a park and looking out in space or just sitting somewhere with a notebook and journaling for 15 minutes is that you end up having some of the most profound thinking. You start to get to the root of problems that you didn't realize you had in your life and the pain that you wouldn't face otherwise starts to come forefront. So that is how to cultivate presence. It's to start to expand awareness and go somewhere without stimulatory responses. It may sound very basic, but just try it for an hour, two hours to go somewhere, to get out of your normal habitat and to not have anything that will distract you or take you away from the moment and where you are in your environment and you you will watch as presence returns and you can finally de-stress. If this video helped you in any way or opened up a new thought, make sure to drop that below. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe so you get notified when videos come out like this in the future.